Thanks. Yeah, hello everyone. Thanks for uh, joining. Um, today I'm going to be playing against the different bots and play Magnus app. But, uh, hmm, can't seem to move. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, hello in the chat. Hello, CP Creator. Hello, Spirit Tapper. So let's uh, play 10 year old Wesley. I think the 10 year old Wesley strength is around 2100 or 2000. But uh, we'll see what happens. I definitely never played the French back then. I used to play the Sicilian with Knight C6. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, hello, Claude Masseron. Yeah, uh, I got a new mouse now. So the other one was uh, Logitech. <coughs> and uh, wasn't led to a lot of blunders the last time I, I used that Logitech mouse. So I'm using different mouse. <clears throat> so G6 seems like a bad move. Yes, yeah, so welcome everyone who's joining in. Also later in two hours, I will have a banter blitz session. But uh, uh, right now I'm playing against a bot, 10 year old version of myself. And later also I'll be playing against uh, Magnus bot, also the Judith Bulgar bot night before. This bot is playing very fast. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. I'm not playing, okay. So it's still secret, sorry. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll be playing against uh, whoever is available. King E3. It's a mistake. And uh, now I cannot take on e5 because of d4. CP equator. I, I went through all the stages of the title. I first got, uh, what can I play here? Probably knight c5. I first got my CD master title when I was 12. And I got I am title when I was 13. And I got my GM title when I was 14. So I went through all the titles, all the stages, just step by step. I think this 10 year old Wesley is outplaying me. Uh, just playing very quickly. Mm. Yeah, so it takes d4, king, d takes c3. Uh, knight d4, it's got knight g4. King uh, three. Yeah, but hopefully he'll make a mistake with Wesley bot sooner or later. Yeah, it takes and got d4, so that's unfortunate. Um takes d4, king d3, knight b7, knight five, e five, book f1. Yeah, this is Pretty bad. I'll just take this knight. Yeah. It's actually playing very well. Okay, king m7 was a mistake. He could have won a pawn. But this bot is playing automatically. So we don't have any clocks. Also, I think his last move is a mistake. But probably it's just equal. Because these knights are very dangerous. I'll bring my knight back. Uh, rook f6, now it's threatening check on f3. So it's not good. h4. It's going to be very difficult winning this game. If I can even hold it. Rook c6, king d2, 
to before I, mean, I think we're making tons of mistakes there's no accuracy at all in this game we're just moving pieces uh as casper used to say we're just pushing wood hmm no I'm, I'm losing a pawn so i can probably make a draw not exactly what I want though. A4, knight, b4, rook, d3. Oh, you got knight e5. Yeah, I missed that. Oh, I have rook e5, knight f3. So, um, hmm. E5 rook takes before. Uh, hmm. Yeah, definitely underestimated this ten year old. Um E5 rook B5. I can even just capture. Knight takes A5. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Maybe I should just start a new game. But uh, let's see, let's push this pawn. Let's see if he takes it. Yeah, and he does. Oh. Uh, Activate my rook, probably. Right here. Let's go here, pick up this pawn. Oh, he just defended the pawn. So that's a pretty neat move. King here. Hmm. Knight the four, knight b four. making the conversion more difficult than it should be. Um, anyway, I'm just moving pieces here. So H takes, H takes. Black is two points up, so he should be winning. Check on E5, rook. Rook B2 looks fine also. Knight G6, Knight B4, King E4, Knight D2. I didn't see CBC 91. Okay, so let's play again. <laughs> you lost in 51 moves. Let's play Wesley again. <clears throat> that was a tough game. Mm. Yeah, so this used to be my main repertoire. Sicilian with knight c6. So they set it up well. Yeah, I used to play the Sveshnikov all the time. Probably have hundreds of games in the Sebastian Cup with both colors. Rook there, h4. Actually, I played this line against Magnus in uh, Norwich Chess Tournament. Um, Bishop e6. Probably a3. Then if he plays a5. Mm. I see that. Uh, bishop d3, bishop takes d5. Mm. Hmm. 
don't actually remember any theory. But this move looks good. Because now I have bishop b5. <laughs> it should be much better for white. Because uh, the very least I can win a pawn. <laughs> I can fell short. In B7. Maybe I should play knight C4, then he'll play bishop D8. Takes, takes. <coughs> As 10 years old, I'm sure you didn't know how to spell Sebastikov, but you knew the moves. Yeah, I have a few books on the Sebastikov. Uh, it's funny because at first it was called the Kalashnikov variation, also called, also used to be called the Pelican Sicilian Pelican variation. And I think it's only in the last, uh, the last 40 years that they started calling it the Sebastikov variation named after the strong Russian grandmaster, Evgeny Sebastikov. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a weird name for it. Yeah, it was first called Pelican. Okay, Pelican. And uh, there was another name for it. Don't remember exactly. Ah, I think I have Knight C4, Bishop D8, Knight takes A5. Rook takes b5, in takes b5. Knight takes a5. So we'll go for this very forcing line. It's probably a bad idea against a computer. But uh, after all, my opponent is only 10 years old. So hopefully he misses some things. It is my idea, we got a win the pawn. I can go for the end game, but end game looks bad. White is a pawn up, so this should be better. I can just castle. My king is very safe. Queen b7. I can play knight c7 as well. <clears throat> but if I don't win this game, I'm never going to win. Also, it was also called the Lasker, right? CP, Coitert. The Lasker Sicilian, right? <clears throat> that seems such a long time ago. Um, hmm. White is still better here, but it's not that easy to win. I think I can go for this because at the very least I have rook d8 check. It looks like a winning queen endgame, at least at first sight. But maybe it's not winning. Rook d8 check, queen d8, king f7. I'll go for this queen endgame. But I think I had a very good position earlier. Now very hard to win, maybe. Check, c7. And then he's attacking two of my pawns. Also the pawn on c3 is hanging. So I don't think I could defend all of them. But I'll play queen c5, queen e4, queen f8, king g6. So I'll push this pawn. Oh, he found the move queen a8, which <clears throat> keeps everything protected. <clears throat> Glad you are reading the chat here. But this 10 years old is stronger than 2000 to 2100 and the talent Wesley was on that age. Yeah, 10 years old, my rating is 
strength was probably around 2100. Because at 11, I reached 2200. But yeah, he, this computer beat me in the first game. So uh, I think I'm going to win this one though, because I just pushed my pawn. He's threatening F2. Mm. Okay, it's not winning yet. But uh, uh, they should be winning. Because I can also play h5 at some point. Push. OK. H6. Yeah, I mess this one up. G4. King H7. G5 takes E4. Okay, let's push this pawn. Yeah, mess this one up. Ah, it's okay. I'll just... <laughs> yeah, mess it badly. I'll just make a draw. Check. Okay. Thought I can play F3. Or King G3, Queen D6, King H3. King G3 has Queen C7. King F1 has got Queen H1. So I have to play f3, queen d7, queen g5, e2, king f2. Should be a draw. Or maybe not. H7, King H8, King G2. H7, King H8. Yeah, this end ten year old is actually pretty good. Oh wait, so wait, I take King G eight. Should be able to draw. Uh check. Problem my king is cut off. Queen E one, he's got Queen E three. Hmm. 
I have no moves. Um, maybe I should start giving checks. Hope for a perpetual that isn't there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we, we play again. We gotta beat this 10 year old. Let's play again, rematch. Okay, sorry about the chat. Yeah, and he always plays black. And I always lose. Oh right, yeah, so back then when I was nine or 10, I was actually playing the Leningrad Dutch. <clears throat> so uh, I had quite a number of good games with the Leningrad Dutch. I had some very nice wins against strong masters using the Leningrad Dutch. I used to play queen e8 actually instead of c6. Um, so I used to play queen e8. But c6 is the main line nowadays. Pretty good too. So uh, I've never played this exact position before with black. But I know Hikaru Nakamura has played this a few times. White is supposedly slightly better. But the problem is if you play b4, then he retreats his knight to d7, and the pawn on c4 becomes very vulnerable. Knight h5 looks strong. The knight is very far away from the center. So now I could consider b4 and open up the long diagonal. Knight d7, b5. Ah, bishop takes. <coughs> Hmm. Bishop takes this is a very bad move. Rook takes. So I think I should win this game. Uh, for sure. <laughs> I have the bishop pair. Black's dark scores are very weak. So I have to win this game. For sure. I think just here. Rook takes CB4. E before night before. Yeah, let's take with the bishop. We check. Takes. Hmm. Hmm. Turns out much more complex than I thought. Ah, but now we're up pawn. <coughs> yeah, so finally he started making some mistakes. So why did I play the Leningrad Dutch? Uh, because the Dutch is a dynamic opening. Yeah, the Dutch is a dynamic opening, especially the Leningrad Dutch. I never liked the stone wall, but I like the Leningrad where you find Cheto the bishop because I actually used to play the King's Indian also from time to time back then. So I used to play the King's Indian, uh, the Dutch, the Slav, and, and the Nimso Indian. Those were my four main openings. <clears throat> and uh, I've always been a fan of being able to play many different things. So yeah, they should. Why these two pawns up? Uh, C6, probably it's one win. Bishop C5. Hmm. <coughs> okay, it actually became a bit more complicated than it should. Hmm. 
I think after E4, white still totally winning. <clears throat> okay, I missed that. King C6. Huh. I think this is. <clears throat> yeah, made it much harder than it should. But it should be winning. Uh, King G5. King takes pawn. Yeah, why does too many pawns? And all the pawns are defended. Wow, it's a check. King e6. Okay, he just goes. You could play king e6 and king f6. Takes. Yeah, finally, we get the win. h7. Hmm. Takes. Okay, he doesn't want to resign. But we get the pawns rolling. Win. Push. How do you make them check? Yeah, I've made. Okay, let's do one more rematch. Okay, let's play one more game with against Wesley. And then maybe we'll play Henrik Carlsen. So knight of three, c5. Oh, I uh, actually also played the accelerated dragon. Although it was when I was 14. Takes bishop uh, e3. Queen d2. Uh, Fabiano has many good games in this line. But uh, yeah, I can't remember exactly whether he played f4 or f3 or whether I should play f4 or f3. f4 has got to be the critical move here. But he can play rook c8 and attack my pawns. So uh, it should be slightly better for white. <laughs> but there's a problem that uh, White can get too comfortable with this position. <clears throat> yeah, so here, f4, knight, c5. Okay, rook of eight doesn't look right. Hmm. I think I can go f4 and then bishop f3. <clears throat> yeah, 10 year old these days is the new 14. Queen c7. Uh, don't exactly know what to do, but I think I can. Push. Oh, I just blundered a takes bishop d4. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, if I e5. Let's play knight b5 and then e5. 
winning the exchange. Ciao. Ciao. Knight c7. Take. Um, if he gets his bishop on d4, it's going to become a bit messy. So, takes. He's got a lot of pawns on the king side. Five pawns. That's a lot of pawns. But I have a passed pawn. I have two passed pawns which are well supported. Yeah, King H8, nice move. <laughs> push pawn, push pawn. Let's just get the win, take. King F1, nice move. Grab a pawn. Yeah, we win. Okay, how do you win this? Just rook here. Oh, I should play rook h8. Okay, regardless, check. Yeah, so finally, managed to beat 10 year old Wesley two games in a row. That's a good sign. Okay, let's play someone else. Um, I want to play Henrik. Let's play Henrik Carlsen, and then we'll play his son after. Henrik. My father, despite being a strong club player himself, never pushed me for results. Nice. He gave me time and space to grow my own motivation, interest, and passion for chess. Nevertheless, winning a proper game against him one day made a big milestone in my chess life. Wonder when this happened? I was nine. How about you? Are you strong enough to beat my dad at chess? Yeah, fair question. Yeah, I think Henrik Carlsen's rating was uh, 2200, I think, on his... Um, I think his highest rating was 2200. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's nice to play his uh, Magnus father from, from time to time. So he doesn't want to play knight f6. So let me play knight d5. Yeah, I thought he has check, but I can play bishop d2. Also, I might have b4. Now b4, knight b4, bishop d2, bishop d4, bishop b4, queen b4. I think b4 works here. I could be wrong. Oh, I've got bishop a4. Yeah, just wins a piece. Okay, good. Rook takes. Um, check, take, yeah, it's nice, it's nice to play against Magnus' uh, father, because I've never played him before, 
And I played Magnus uh, countless of times. Also this year alone, I played him already so many times. So it's good to play against someone new. <laughs> Ah, push. Trying to take my room. <laughs> That was nice. We beat uh, we beat Carlsen very easily. Let's do a rematch. I w it never it wouldn't allow me to play with uh, the black pieces, and that's fine. We want to play white all the games. Um, so let's play Magnus Father once again. Takes. Yeah, I didn't know if. Father goes for this line. Um, white is supposed to just be better here because I I can attack on the king side. Um, Bishop g5, h takes. I think Bishop g5, knight d4. So bishop g5 doesn't work. Um, queen e4, queen f5, c3. I thought he had to play e5. Bishop g5 takes, takes, queen e7. Okay, let's take some risk. King F8. King F8 is a nice move. Um, White should be doing well. And Black's King is very weak. They should be winning for White, but very easy to mess it up. Check king f7, g6. Yeah, that should be winning. Now rook h8, king e7. Mm. Maybe I should play queen h4. Let's go queen h4. Maybe black as a defense, maybe not. King of seven looks so bad though. G six. Yeah, it's gotta be something here. Check. Bit harder than it looks. Uh, okay, Jake says Bishop F4. King B1, he has Queen F6. Meanwhile, if I give a check, goes to F8. Knight g5, bishop f4, it's a blunder. So if I take queen f6,
He's got queen h6. I didn't see queen h6. Yeah, he finds this g6. Very annoying move. Rook h8, king g7, hello Balas Arato, thanks for joining in, so later I'll have the banter blitz, but here I'm just playing against bots. Uh, Let's see, very interesting position at the moment. Rook h6, king g8, takes, king f8. It looks very good for white, but I have to be careful. I'm a piece down. Uh, rook. I don't think I'm risking anything. His king is very weak. Oh, he has king g7. That's a nice move. Totally missed that. Ah, I didn't expect rook e7. Rook e7 doesn't look very good though, because now it's knight is pinned. But yeah, Carlsen's father proved to be much tougher than first sight. But uh He's threatening rook e1. Check. Well, his back rank is severely pinned. So I can... Rook e2 is a blunder? Oh, no, no. Maybe not. Check. King f6. Um, hmm. Yeah, bishop on d6 protects everything. Check, g4, no. Let's go all out for an attack. Yeah, he just likes gobbling up pawns. He has g5. You can even see g5. Mm, king e5. Now his king is coming to d3. Give a check. His king is coming to d3. Well, I need to give checkmate. Check. King c4. Well, white should be totally lost, but maybe it's not so easy. B6. Uh, hmm, can't really move my queen side. So let's pin. Bishop f4, starting mate. Uh, yeah. C4. 
3, 5. Didn't expect that. It's probably got rook g2. Now if knight is defended, I'm still a piece down. But I don't think this position is that easy for black to win. Oh, he's got 97. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's play another bot. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, let's play Magnus. Oh, only 10 years old now. Oh, I can choose the age. Yeah, let's play Magnus. So what age should we, should we play? Age 12? H12, let's play 10, 15, 14. So what age? 14. We should, we should play minus H5. <laughs> 14. Okay, let's play Magnus 14. And then we'll play H5. So Magnus at 14 is uh, around 2600. Yeah, Magnus at 14 is around 2550, 2600. I placed in the top 30 of the European Championship to qualify for the World Cup. My trick, intuition. Analysis can sometimes give more accurate results than intuition, but usually it's just a lot of work. That makes sense. I normally just do what my intuition tells me to do. That's a good point. I should do that too. Most of the time spent thinking is just to double check. Okay, let's play Magnus at 14. Yeah, it's... I always get white, of course. So let's play e4, e5. I think he played in against Levon Aronian in the World Cup when he was 14. And he lost that match. Um, I don't remember exactly what Magnus used to play when he was 14. I think he was playing mostly Sicilian defense games and definitely not this. Because this move, bishop e6, is a modern move, a very new idea. Um, black's e pawns are doubled, so white should be slightly better. But nevertheless, there have been quite a number of games here recently. And uh, yeah, it's quite solid for black. So I can play knight bd2. I should play c3 and then bring my knight over to the g3 square because the, on g3 the knight's always best place. So knight g3 and take with the h pawn. Yeah, a6 fold by a5 doesn't look good because he wasted the tempo, but it's not very easy to uh, to exploit. Black of some light square weaknesses. Not that it matters. Yeah, he can play b5. I thought it wasn't very good. But yeah, I guess black's position is quite solid. At age 29, I defeated 3-0. You mean you lost 3-0? Right? Um, Let's see, maybe I should trade the bishops. Bishop g5, 
take. Yeah, now he has an isolated pawn on h6. So uh, maybe I can even push. Probably not the best choice to play d4, but this doesn't look right for black. Um, I can play rook d2. Knight takes d4. Can play rook c1, which looks a bit risky. Actually, let's play rook c1. Takes queen h5. But he just plays f5. Oh, he has rook f6. So if rook e1, d3, rook e8. So if I go here, he just pushes the pawn. Huh. Yeah, we can always rematch if we lose this game. Check. Maybe I can hold the draw or not. Yeah, okay, wait, I miscalculated. Oh, let's do rematch. Magnus at 14. Okay. Let's do rematch. Let's see what he has against d4. c4. Uh, he used to play the Queen's Indian back then. But here he's opted for the Benoni. I don't think Magnus ever really played the Benoni. Queen C2. The threats on the king side are not funny. But at the same time, I don't think they're that dangerous. Uh, maybe black is okay here. So takes. Oh, F5, I didn't expect F5. Could be very strong. So it's here. Yeah, I'm playing very fast, but there's no ideas behind my moves. Just playing fast. Mm. So let's double rooks on the E file. But he also does the same. Mm. Let's see if we can annoy him a little bit. Queen A5. Oh, but he has queen f8. So it doesn't really do anything. Mm. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay. Sure. Okay, I'll just finish this. Yes. Thank you. Queen C3. Oh, I play H5. Yeah, I think I'll just finish this game pretty soon. Because uh, it's not what I was hoping my game would go. Maybe white is not completely lost yet. It's just lost. Queen H5, push, queen. I see four, whatever. He's got bishop d5, which I totally missed. And then he's got e3. Yeah, I just resigned. Queen a1. Shit. Uh, yeah, Magnus at 14 is very strong. Should have a drink after each loss. Yeah. All right, so I'll see you guys in, in an hour. Do my banter blitz. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching.